everyone, and welcome to episode number 50 of Onboard Tangra. It has been such a ride, and we're so excited to put out this video. This video is all about Port Browning and heading to the Blue Water Cruising Club meetup. Enjoy! Hi everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. Last weekend, we circumnavigated Salt Spring Island. This weekend, it was going to be Pender. Everyone, we are heading to Port Browning uh, for the Blue Water Cruising Meetup. Lane and I joined a cruising club. I'm so excited. It's our first time. I've got their pennant just right there. I put it up. Uh, but we just went around the north end of Pender. So we're doing a circumnavigation this weekend of Pender. And we're in Plumper Sound right now. Uh, Port Browning is just four of us off on our starboard side. And we've got Winter Harbor over there on our port, which is a nice place too. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Just coming into Port Browning. We should be there in about half an hour. And we're just heading south right now. We're just going to round up into Port Browning, which we think is right there. So we're just going to go around this point and go whoop, up and in. It is tea time on Tanga. Oh, I don't know what this is, but it smells really good. Some kind of red dragon Spice. thing that he likes. Spice. All our little Tim Hortons mugs. Every year Santa brings me Tim Hortons mugs. These ones are from our trip down from Alaska when we brought Tanga home. I just did something really, really stupid. <laughs> I said, hey Blaine, I just put up some red twinkly lights. I said, what? What color are they? I said red, red twinkly lights. So Janice, we're navigating. Do you think that's such a good idea? <laughs> When we're underway, we've got a red light on our port side and a green light on our starboard. The problem was, I hung the red twinkly lights okay, on the back of the boat, the which was going to really confuse people. So this is the fastest anchoring I ever did. <laughs> I don't know, plane, what what was going this, on? This no, is, but why did we do it so fast? Well, I was watching another boat come across the harbor, and I'm like, that's my spot. <laughs> so that was my uh, my very rapid. <laughs> so that was because the sailboat. Oh, absolutely. It's that sailboat over yeah. there was coming across. <laughs> See behind you. I'm like, no, you can go anywhere. That's my spot. We were like, this is ours. We're taking it. <laughs> I kind of little, figured something was up. So I was like, you, I said, Brad, can you get the tender? And I just like... Beat. A little competitive there, Blade. <laughs> Before we could go in for the meetup, Tina and I decided that our boys were way too hairy. I have off a big passage, which ours was today, which was, you know, two hours. Everybody has to get their hair cut. Janice, you're next. <laughs> can we do your curls first, Tina? Head down. Oh, okay. That's a lot of hair. She's bossy. It's very bossy. I think three is useless. I think we just go right for the two. Is that okay? Don't get carried away. I'm not going to say oops. The head down? It was long. And after we all got cleaned up, it was time to head into the meetup. But first we had to check in. We're coming to check in. I hear we have to go to Arahira Afternoon. Yeah, you actually have to talk to people who know stuff. You oh. don't know stuff. Do they know stuff? They know stuff. You don't know stuff. Damn it. This is Port Brownie Marina. Oh, some people are all dressed up. Putting up all their flags, counting stars, Vancouver, Canada. That's cool, he's got a couch. Hmm? 
lot of flags. Yeah. So What's for the meetup? Dingy Dock Unfortunately, Dingy Dock was full. But the Port Browning staff, they were awesome and found us another place to park. Come, Maggie. Our pee? first priority on shore was to make sure Maggie could go do her business. Yes. She peed. <laughs> then it was time to meet the organizers and pick up our welcome package. Are you to then it was walking the docks and checking out some boats. So this is awesome. We've got kayak rental place here. Beer is going back. away. Come back. The category 12 van showed up. It's sold out. Category 12 van. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. No, no. Come back. <laughs> Checked in with Sally. We got our welcome package right here. Tomorrow's a busy day. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Should we go look around? Nice big bay. Yeah, let's go look. After about five minutes of walking, we decided we were very Your thirsty. Is you don't actually have to go up on the patio. You can right. buy beer at the marina yeah. office. And, and then you don't have to wait in line. Cheap potato chips. And cheap potato chips. So we've been sitting here having cider, beer, yep. and cheap potato chips. And it's been absolutely perfect. And we've been talking to people. And Maggie's been happy talking to people. Yeah. And yeah, it is good. I just want to say, these guys have been on board for their second weekend and they're like the perfect crew. They've totally picked up everything on what to do. What are we looking at? That looks like rain. Oh yeah. Or that looks like a lot like, of rain out there. It looks like smoke. Could be smoke the smoke's supposed smoke. to arrive in 24 hours. That was, you know, 12 hours ago. Could be early smoke, to be honest. The wildfire smoke. Smell. Smoke. smoke. So the rest of Canada is burning. Oregon has, is Oregon that has a massive fire? Oregon, yes. Yeah, like there's some big wildfires going on right now. And last summer we were actually chock a block full of smoke, especially during my sister's wedding. So, which was September. So we still it was have September. lots of time to go through. So we're kind of expecting yeah. it to get a bit smoky. And I think it is. Blaine thinks it's rain. I think it's smoke. I'd say it's a combination. Ryan thinks it's a combination. I think it's a horror movie called The Call. Oh, and that's, that I think well. Blaine's actually right because I just felt rain. He's got a rain meter. <laughs> I think the testosterone is sticking together and Brian would know if there's rain first looking at his head. So, so here we are, Blue Water Cruising Meetup. It's actually a pretty good group. There's lots of people here. It's an awesome meetup. I think last count was 34 boats in Port Browning. Like seriously, if you want to join Blue Water Cruising, the link is down below. So please check it out. It's a very decent price. I think it's $200 a year. Great speakers every month, but you definitely should join. So yeah, check it out. We're at Port Browning and this is the meetup. We were doing appies right now. And let's see if I can see everybody. Look at everybody. Sailors, motor boaters, everybody's out there, but you should definitely join and check it out. We were having a great time in Port Browning. So again, the link's below, check it out. One of the customers After the first night meetup, it was time to head back to Tangaroa. And we were spoiled with a stunning sunset. And while sitting on the aft deck having sunset drinks, we were blessed with a sail pass. <laughs> nice. Woohoo! I was like, either he's gonna hit us or he's coming for beer. I'm not sure which. Oh, we got a mirror here. It's awesome. Oh, you do have a mirror. Yep. It's a old neck. Beautiful little boat. Beautiful big boat. <laughs> She'll get there. Dragged me right in there. Went, Look at all that aluminum. It's a lot of aluminum. Then it was time to head to bed and get ready for a busy day. The day started with the Blue Water Cruising Club roll call. Checking in with Dara and Kate. <laughs> On our way in for breakfast, we passed a poor little dragonfly who had got himself stuck in the water. 
There you go. Okay, just stay. Just, just settle just down. Just dry. Just dry. You'll be fine. Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Trying to save the you dragonfly. Don't dry there. I don't dry there. There you go. I like your finger. It's good, good grip. We put our little dragonfly right there. I think he can dry his wings, but I hope that he's got a little bee to entertain him. Saying, hey, how you doing, buddy? Are you okay? I think he'll be fine. I think we saved him. He's waving at the bee. Hello, buddy. Look, they saved me, those lovely people. I think we're good. And this is the Blue Water Cruising Club breakfast. And after breakfast, we are honored with a lecture all about First Nations history in the area. And I'll try to speak so that everybody can hear me. So these are the Gulf Islands, and you can see this is usually where we are with the Wasanage people. Port Browning Marina. Uh, take a look. So they've redone the whole marina. It looks great. Docks are in great shape. They can take lots of boats and they said they can take boats up to 150 I think. They can have room for one on the finger pier out there. But usually their docks are roughly 78 feet long. There's a ton of anchorage here though. It was a little bit, uh, actually it was pretty flat last night but we kind of uh, pointed every direction but all the same way. But massive anchorage, lots of room. Depth was about 30 feet where we are. So we put out 150 feet and there was no issues at all. Hi, we also helped a new friend and his dog who ran out of gas. <laughs> all going gunk holing. And if you want to know what gunk holing is, it's taking the tender or your dinghy and just going up along shore and just looking to see what you can find and going in a little coves and exploring. My parents love gunk holing so much. They go out for hours and hours. But we're gonna go cruise along here. The west coast of Anchor Road is actually perfect for gun calling because you can find the Japanese glass um, net floats, balls. They're stunning. And if you are lucky to find one, yeah, so we're in Port Browning and we're going to do some gun calling. Are you guys ready? Woohoo! Woohoo! Now, Pinder Island is split into two islands now. It used to be one, but now it's split into two. We have no, we're gonna have to research on how this island got split into two and why they did a canal across. So we'll let you know later on in the video after we do some googling, googly moogly. After googly moogling, I learned that in 1905, it was separated into two islands so there was easy access from Bedwell Harbor to Port Browning. In 1955, a single lane bridge was constructed to give access to both islands. We're gonna go underneath a bridge up here from Shark Cove over into Bedwell Harbor that splits Pender into north and south. It's kind of neat. We fly around like paper planes. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us. Still, they want to tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Bridge, bridge, harbor, dock, nice boat. And this is all part because look up there, it's gotta be all lookout up there. There's something different about us. We're pulling cup after cup after cup. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life. Beautiful. Look at the bright work on her. And after an awesome morning of gunk holing, it was time to head back to Tangaroa, pull up anchor, and head to Winter Cove on Saturna Island. Hit the bell button so you're notified when episode 51 drops next week and we explore Winter Cove. Did you hit the bell?
Did you? Did you? Did you hit the bell? Because if you don't, you'll not get notified when the next episode comes out and I'm off schedule.